All right, let's go ahead and get started. I've already tested my collar up here on the sky. This is just, uh, there is no liquid white up here. This is th phthalo blue and white. There's not much of a sky, so I figured I'm just going to scrub it in today. There is not much at all. Phthalo blue and white. We're going to do a covered bridge today. Shockingly, I've never done one. And basically, because I just can't find a good picture. <laughs> I've been wanting to do one for a long time, but I couldn't find a good picture. I kind of like this picture. It's kind of close up. And that's what we're going to do. Covered bridge today. But if you don't use liquid white or liquid clear on your canvas, which I, I, t I don't most of the time, just on mountains I will, you have to scrub it in. And that's what we're doing. Scrub it in the sky because there's not much of it. This is just about it. I see a little bit poking through over here. And that's about it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this same brush. And I'm gonna take some black. I'm gonna take some green. And we're gonna start filling in with some background stuff. A little ochre, a little sienna, a little bit darker. I'm just going to fill in with some collar. There's going to be trees back in here, but they're pretty dense. So I've got to put something behind the trees so you don't see the canvas, basically. Uh, yeah, a little umber, a little burnt umber, a little brown. Try not to get on the bridge too much here. I didn't outline my bridge, so hopefully I can still find it, find my lines. It does help to sketch, sketch out a little bit sometimes. I do it all the time, and it does help. Oh, that's probably okay for that. Let's do the other side now. Black, sap green, just a, just a random mix of collars. This comes all the way down. Burnt sienna, just for something different. Brown. More black. Yeah, this is this is background stuff that you'll not pay attention to, but it has to be in it, or you'll see the canvas, and that wouldn't be good. Just scrub it in. All right, I've been working up here on my trees a little bit and I'm gonna put a big pine tree right here. I want to get this background stuff done first before I work on the uh, covered bridge. I'm gonna use some black and sap green. I want this to be pretty big. You want to get your background stuff done first and work forward. That's the best scenario. This one is really big and tall. And I got a big brush, so I need a lot more paint than what I got on here. And well, we're, I'll work on this tree probably. I think I can work on the building after I just get to get it in here. I'll put highlights and stuff on it maybe later. I don't know. Just feeling it out. Seeing what's going to happen here. And this is behind. I keep wanting to call it a garage, the covered bridge. Looks like a garage to me. I keep wanting to call it a garage. How to paint a garage, that'd be a bad, probably a bad painting, wouldn't it? Covered bridge, that's what it is. Let's go ahead, let's throw some color on this big old covered bridge that we have. Um, I got a picture I'm looking at up here. 
I see blues. I see blues. Man, I got a stiff brush going on here. <laughs> oh, there's lots of blues that are actually a little darker than that. Stay some black in. Got blue. I see red. I see gray. Brown. Man, I see a lot of colors. I'm just going to throw this on here real quick and then we're going to mix it up with my one inch brush alizarin crimson let's be sure we throw some red in here we want some red for sure red 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 and brown okay this area back in here this is all dark this is raw umber i think i'm gonna paint this whole thing back here nothing but raw umber all this right here and then Oh gosh, somewhere down in through here. And up. This is real dark. This is that's all I'm gonna do is put collar down on the canvas. I just came in from work, that's all the time I got today. Let me go ahead and shake, stir some of this up and see what this looks like real quick and then I'll finish the rest of it. Off camera. This will be dark. The sun is coming down this way. Hitting the front of it. So this will be dark right here. Uh oh. Got green on here. I better get a different brush. I was going to try to cheat and use the same one. I'm going to have to dirty up another one. Yeah, we're just getting collar on the canvas is all we're doing. Got to have something. To, you got to start somewhere, and this is this is where we're starting today. Starting with some collar on the canvas. I'm gonna stay away from this line of my opening because, man, if I lose that, that might give me a problem. I spent a lot of time drawing this out. <laughs> well, not a lot of time, but long enough. I don't want to make it harder on myself. Yeah, I need it. It needs to be lighter. I can see that. I got too many dark colors here. I'll lighten it up. Let's lighten it up a little bit. Now this is just our first coating, but I still want it a little bit lighter than that, even though it's our first round. Let's take some white. Take some white. Throw it in. Now this should be a little lighter just by doing that. That is more like it. See how simple that was to just change the shade? That's all you got to do sometimes. Okay, I'm going to continue with this on this building. We're just putting collar down and I'll be right back. All right, I think that I want this to be dirt. In the picture I have, it's actually paved, but you know, I don't like that kind of stuff. I want it to be, I want this to be older. <clears throat> I think I want this to be dirt right here. So let's take some yellow ochre, mix it with some white. Let's just throw some color. We're just getting color on the canvas today, so we don't have to be real neat or anything. Let's take a little brown, a little sienna. We don't have to be super neat today. Um, 
little brown. As it comes closer towards you, it should be getting a little darker. A little more brown, a little sienna. I like sienna. Let's see here. Let's make it, uh, let's put some, I hate to stick my brush in it, but let's put a little Prussian blue down in here. I know it's it's a strange color to use it and on the road. That's why I use it. It's strange. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this right here. This is going to be I think this is going to be some grass. So let's go ahead and put some yellow or cad yellow light in. My brush already has blue in it, so it's turning it green and that's okay. Grass is usually green. So that's not a problem there. Um, Prussian blue down here. A little crimson. I like lizard and crimson. Maybe even down in here too. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to stir all this up. Let me find my brush. I don't want the one that had green. This one has a dark color. Let's see what this is. I think it'll be okay for today. I mean, we're just putting color down. I don't wouldn't normally do this, but put a dark brush up here in my. But it's okay, I think. Start in your lighter colors first. I'm gonna switch brushes. <laughs> I just don't want to do that. See, I don't like the way it looks now. My fault. I should have. I'm just trying not to dirty up so many brushes, but when you get lazy, that's the kind of stuff that happens. I'm just going to mix it all up. See, this is much better than that. I don't like that. I like that. Just mix it all up. Now before I get here, I have a brush that actually does have, I think it has some green on it. I'll use it for my grass. It's greenish. So that's good for the grass. Just putting collar down. All right, back over here. All the way to the bottom. I think that's about all we're going to do today. That's a pretty good start. It took probably an hour. All right, let's go ahead and start working on our barn here a little bit. I am just grabbing random collars. And I am taking, this is a filbert brush. It's a real piece of junk. <laughs> I mean, I just can't keep brushes like I can't keep flat brushes or filberts. They just get, even though I clean them, they just get piled up with stuff, with paint, I guess. I can't do nothing with them, man. I just have to use what I got here, I guess. But anyways, we're just putting random collars in. I'm gonna take some lizard and crimson, which is reddish. Just throw it in. Yeah, you just want random stuff. Kind of like we do barns. This is this is a covered bridge. It's an old one. And we're just randomly throwing stuff in. Some burnt sienna. You want a nice mix is what you're after. Let's take some Prussian blue, which is probably it ain't too dark. I said it might be a little too dark, but that ain't too bad. See how random that is? That's what you're wanting. Random randomness is good. Yeah, it's looking not look too bad. 
But this is our second coat. This was our first yesterday. This is our second. We'll go over it one more time. Hopefully will be our final, our final coat. But that's all I'm doing, just throwing this stuff in. Let's take a little white and kind of throw in here on occasion. It's really mixed colors, isn't it? and that's good. Because as I said, we're going to go over this again. <clears throat> so this is not our final coating. Not at all. Burnt umber, Prussian blue, Lizarin crimson, burnt sienna. Put it all in here. And this side here is darker than this. The sun is coming down, hitting the front of this. So this area here will be darker. Take a little white and throw it in here. Well, I'm gonna keep doing this. I get all this done on the front and I'm probably do the side here too. All right, we're still working on the barn. What I'm doing now is I'm mixing some white, some brown, and I'm, I'm rolling my brush. See, this is what we did just a few minutes ago. We just put the paint on. Now I'm rolling my brush. And if you can see the textures that it's given, I'm just randomly Let's get some sienna, you can see it better. It's just to me, I mean this this is not how everybody does it. This is how I do it. This gives it a nice rough look. This is an old barn. I mean an old, not a barn, it looks like a barn. This is a covered bridge. And they're old, most of them. But this is how I do it. This gives it a nice to me, it gives it a really nice textured look. And I'm just using white, just random colors. I mean, you could use some blue you wanted, you could use some red, just whatever. This is some alizarin crimson I mixed just now. It just gives it a nice rough look. And I might hit it again with, you know, do a little more, a little more to it, and I probably will, but I'll do that, then I'll get my knife. I'll get some black and I'll make some marks with the board for the boards. And I'll do the entire barn barn. I keep saying more the entire covered bridge this way. It reminds me of a barn. But we got to remember, it's not. This is one way to put uh, boards in. There's several ways. To, there's always different ways to do things. And then, if I feel like the marks are not big enough, I'll get this as a number one. I'll get the smallest brush I can get, roll it in a little bit of black, and just follow the lines I just put on if I feel like they're not big enough or dark enough. And I'll do the whole thing this way. See? And like I said, I'll go around and I'll look and see what I need to hit again. But for the most part, this is it. I'm twisting my brush as I'm coming down. It also gives it a shaky look, which is good. Okay, now it's time to put some post in here. These are like trusses, so to speak, and I have to be real careful about where I put them. <laughs> so, it looks like one will go here. I'm just using... Um, basically raw umber for now. Uh, let's
let's see let's put one right here these are it's real critical these are kind of straight and the way you want them because it'll mess everything up if you don't have them the way you want them so let's just try to be real careful you know they don't have to be perfect I mean but just get them as close as you can to the picture which I'm looking at and you can you guys can use this what I'm painting as your picture That one goes straight down. Okay, let me make sure I'm heading the right direction here. One there. One here. Okay, that one's leaning a little bit. Straighten that one up. All right. Okay, there's one that goes like this. Another one goes like this. Almost got them. Then, of course, we've got to put highlights and dress them up a little. That's it. Well, let's go ahead and work on our road here a little bit. Like I said, I want this to be a dirt road. That's not how it is in the picture, but I don't like what's in the picture. And you can always change it. We don't follow pictures exactly. Um, it looks like from here over, this is going to be darker because of the sun coming down this way. Let's just go ahead and start start working on this road a little bit. This was our first layer. This will be our second, and we might go over it one more time. We gotta we gotta start on something. Might as well start on this road. It's got to be done. This is um, yellow ochre I'm using with some white to start with that's what we're doing I think I might put a little grass down the center of this not in here but when it comes out here I think uh, yellow ochre let's just put a touch of sienna in it yellow ochre and burnt sienna is a I think is a really nice color more sienna I'm kind of swooping it down to represent track marks, you know, where a vehicle is, is riding over it. And that's why you can put grass in the middle, because a vehicle that's following the tracks, it's not going to be hitting the center part of the road, it's going to be hitting the edges. This is burnt sienna. Let me go ahead and get next to this if I can without causing too much of a problem. And it's going to get darker as it's coming toward us. Let's hit some brown, some burnt umber. Burnt umber. Blend it up. More burnt umber. Darker and darker. As it comes towards you, darker and darker. Even some raw umber, which is darker than burnt. Maybe a touch of blue. Yeah, don't be afraid to use different collars, man. Collars are good. 
Don't be afraid to use weird co colors you might think may not go in a road like blue. Well, in a painting it probably does go. This is this is our painting and we can put whatever we want in it. Get this little area right here. Okay, that don't look too bad. We're going to do the grass. I'm going to bring the grass down right in here also. Let me go ahead while I'm filming this. Let's go ahead and determine where we want some grass at. So you could probably go right here. What you want to make sure of, it's not in the in the covered bridge because it can't get rain. It's not going to grow. Let's see. Let me go ahead and okay. Actually, let me wipe this, this brush off a little bit. Let's take some cad yellow light. Let's go ahead and just do some of this. Bring it on over and stick it in the road like I'm doing there. It's that's perfectly fine. Some green. Russian blue mixed with some sap green. I may wind up putting a bush here. I don't know. This is sap green with a little touch of yellow in it. All right, folks, let's do one more thing. I think I want to put, I wipe this off. I want to put a bush right here just for extra, just for interest, just for an extra collar. Cerulean blue. We're going to take some black. We're going to throw some black in here. I may even blot that because that's pretty wet. Even though I wiped that off. Just blot some of that oil off of here. And help our next layer of paint stick. Because <laughs> this will give you a problem. That gives me problems all the time when something's real wet. Don't take it all away, just, just kind of blot it. Now let's take some cerulean blue. Let's see what we can do here. It's such a nice color. Such a nice color. Let me touch it with a little white. Yeah, I want this just for interest. No other reason. Just for something different. That's probably good. You don't want to do too much to it. You'll make it. The more you touch something, the worse it gets. A lot of times. <laughs> 